LKQ Corporation puts quality and safety first. To this end, Keystone Automotive Industries, a subsidiary of LKQ, called upon the expertise of engineering firm MGA Research. We wanted to compare the performance of OEM and aftermarket rebars or bumper reinforcement bars in the real life scenario of a head-on collision. MGA is a independent government contracted facility. Our headquarters in New York. We have offices also in Detroit and Wisconsin. We perform full scale vehicle dynamic testing, component testing. We also do testing for the military and anyone else in the transportation field. Rebar is located in the front of the vehicle behind the plastic fascia and it's part of the vehicle's collision system. LKQ hired us to test an OEM rebar and two aftermarket rebars to see if they met federal FMVSS 208 standards. FMVSS 208 sets a standard for occupant injury values in a collision. In order to meet the standard, you have to perform a test with the entire vehicle. Component level testing only gives you one piece of the puzzle. What you really want to do is full scale dynamic testing to understand how the entire system works together. We tested three different Toyota Corollas, one with an OEM rebar and two with aftermarket rebars, and we towed them down our test track and impacted this cement barrier at 35 miles an hour. We chose 35 miles an hour because it is above the regulation of 30 miles an hour that the 208 standard has. So it's a full frontal impact. All three vehicles, the OEM and the two aftermarket rebars, did meet FMVSS 208 occupant injury values. Biggest picture here is to protect the occupant, the driver, passenger, anyone inside the vehicle. With the results from this full-scale dynamic test, using the government's occupant crash protection standard, I think everyone in the industry and the consumers of aftermarket parts can feel good about the safety of these products.